Good day, beautiful people of the chat. How are we doing today? Is chat enjoying Gaiden, or are you done with Gaiden already? Got the Platinum, was amazing, haven't got much time to play it, finished Gaiden, Pain, I wish new game, yeah. You know, some people are holding out some hope that it will be in a future update, but I do think the fact that it's not in the base game is very strange, because it always used to be, so uh, I don't know what's up with that. Guys, Yakuza is ruined. That's it. It's not the same anymore. Ever since Nagoshi left. Who's with me? You know, I've been thinking about this lately, but it's actually amazing how... good and well-received the story of Gaiden is. Um, Cause like... Okay, I'm gonna talk about this more in a bit, hold on. God damn it. we doing today welcome um so i was saying i still every time i think about it i'm amazed by how decent or good gaiden's story is for a game that's you know you could, you could argue it was kind of rushed out the door maybe that's i feel like that's a negative way of saying it but you know what i mean uh they they started working on it after started starting work on eight and despite that it was a pretty good game like, I don't know, um, I feel like even people that have a problem with it have a problem with, like, one or two aspects, but for the most part, a lot of people love Gaiden. Yo, Lester. Yo, dog. 
But yeah, I'm glad to see Gaiden is doing well. Yeah, I, I just wish New Game Plus was a thing already. And I know, oh, shorter game, doesn't matter, but... Some people care about that stuff, and I'm one of those people. <sighs> I think Gaiden is a good example where they can take their non-RPG stuff. Yeah, I don't think the, like... I don't think the action combat has to completely stop, and they proved they can still do it well with Gaiden. Yo, Shadow? Yeah, Eric, that's pretty much everybody I s saw finishing the game. Um... By the way, uh, for those who follow me on X or Twitter, whatever you call it, uh, you might have seen me talking about the spoilers for Yakuza 8. Be careful out there. These next two months might be very uh, tough, let's say. Um, maybe the algorithm of YouTube is going to screw you over. Maybe some dickhead is going to show up one day and be like, Hey, did you know this is that in 8? Um, maybe, Nova. It's possible. It's possible. I deleted the app after Gaiden. Can't be too careful. Honestly, that's for the best. I, like, I wouldn't even... This is a tougher one to do, but I don't blame people if they delete freaking YouTube as well. Because, um, sometimes on my phone, I do get recommended, like, videos of, like, oh... Uh, like, just a no random-ass notification. Oh, look, this video's up on YouTube. And what it, what is it? Oh, major spoiler. Gotta love it. Oh, hell yeah, hero. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame because, you know, if if RGG devs were more careful about this, this wouldn't have happened. Um, it's just, like, no matter how much you think about it, it's a surprise, like, most of the OST being in the demo, the freaking jobs, the playable characters, like, spoiler models, so on and so forth. You could basically guess the story of the game at this point. Um, I spoiled some stuff for myself, by the way, by choice. Um, I don't really care about spoilers for the most part. But a lot of people do, and these next two months are gonna be painful. Yeah, yeah, I did see that demo. I was actually asked uh, to play that demo, but I politely refused because, you know, you never know. Maybe Sega will see that and they won't like it. And in general, I don't mind just waiting for the game, honestly. You know what else kind of irks me? You remember the story demo and how I said that's apparently off limits according to an RGG post on social media? A lot of people are uploading that shit, so what is that about? You know? Maybe it's just... Wait, let me check. Is it just smaller people? <laughs> yeah, Roxy. You have to be immersed in the community for the most part. So wait. Yakuza... Or... It's not Yakuza, it's like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth story demo. Okay, 38k views. Yeah, most of them don't really have that much. The most being 38k views for the story demo. But man, that game is looking good. Can't wait for it. Oh, um, I forgot to mention this. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna mention it soon when I play the game, but... I'm planning for today's stream to not be too long. Maybe three games. Uh, three games. Three hours, four hours, something like that. So a nice little light stream for me and... For you guys as well. I just want to check this game out because it looked very interesting. And, you know, I got sent the code on October 31st, so Halloween. But I didn't get the time to actually play this game until now. Um, yeah, okay, Chaos Control. Hell yeah! Dedicated Devil Leon 7 viewers, let's fucking go. Mom, I'm famous! Okay, uh... Oh yeah, OBS also had an update, so the layout looks a bit different for me now. Um, let me close that. 
you will die here tonight. Yeah, the game is new. Uh, came out like three three weeks ago. It's on Steam. Link is in the description. I just get recommended Young Gear. Man. <laughs> you know, part of me wants that conversation to just die down already. Because, yeah, I also... Holy shit, it's loud. Hold on. So I was saying, I also have been seeing way more videos about the whole Young Year thing than I expected. But I, I think what some people have been saying is true. He already had haters probably, and then they saw this um, controversy, if you want to call it that, and then they just hopped on it. Now, you know, I do know that Young Year is not a perfect person, and there's genuine, maybe, Issues that people have with him, but yeah, it's it's a shitty situation to be in, regardless. Um, the game doesn't have borderless. You will die here tonight. You know, there's one thing I've always been wondering about, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, but... Is the whole... Like... Cast people based on their race true? Because I remember hearing about it first with, I think it was Family Guy? Like one of the... Um... Recurring or regular characters. I think it was a black character... Who... Like, I don't know what happened one day, but I think they replaced the original actor for that guy, even though he, like... It was a role he was with for years. But out of nowhere, they started doing this thing where they cast... ...actors... Um, ...to match the character's uh, uh, race. Is that a thing? Right. You know... <laughs> call me uneducated, but I feel like that's... ...inherently a racist thing to do. Especially in the case of Yakuza games. You know why? I'll tell you. Uh, this is coming. This is coming from a person of color, by the way. Um, with Yakuza's case, instead of grabbing actual Japanese people who speak English, it just comes off as like, "Oh, this guy's Asian and he speaks English. Let's just get him." You know what I mean? If that's actually why we lost Daryl, that is so fucking stupid, and I'm angry. Um. But yeah, I was talking uh, to my friends about this as well. Um, I think one of them said they're probably doing this whole thing just to avoid potential backlash, which is weird. Because um, yeah, I, I heard apparently something like this happened with... Uh, what's his name? Matthew Mercer? When he voiced Majima? People were angry about that because it's a white guy voicing Majima, which is just so fucking stupid. Like... It's it's all about the voice, you know what I mean? If it's a good match, then. But yeah, sorry uh, to get carried away with all of this. I do think I just voiced my opinion about something that is possibly happening. But yeah. With that aside, ladies and gentlemen, you will die here tonight. New game. Let's go. Dr. Catherine Olson. <clears throat> Gloomy little building. I'll never get used to this. Wait, how do you? It's my first day at Ares headquarters. I should report to the captain in his office. Okay, so. What? Oh. Okay, W A S D. Shift to run, okay. Gunshot. What's going on? Oh. Buddy? <clears throat> hey, don't point that thing at me. Lieutenant Eric Downs. Yeah, survival horror. Whoa, never sneak up on someone with a gun in their hand, Doc. Safety first. I'm just kidding. Welcome to Ares. Shooting people is an important part of our job. 
grab a pistol from the storage box and we'll see if you remember anything from basic training. I don't. Okay. Don't forget, Doc, if you run out of ammo, you can always find ammo in those storage boxes. And I like to leave them all over the place. Yeah, this game, this game seems like it could be fun. We'll see. You leave boxes of live ammunition sitting at random locations throughout your mission zones? Don't worry, we have tons. Okay. The controls are a bit confusing. But I think we're good now. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. How does it feel when I'm... Oh, I was going to point the gun at him and say, Hey, how does it feel now, huh? Great work, Doc. Step in front of that paper guy and we'll get started. Okay. Oh. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Mr. BBW lover. Just popped in before work. Have a great day, everyone. You too, buddy. Thank you, thank you. No, I didn't see that mage. Point. Okay. So, when you enter this mode, you don't have to press anything. Um, They're automatically aiming. But you can aim again, I guess, to get closer in. Your shots will hit uh, with more moreness. What? If you aim them. Oh, right. Okay. Well. Don't forget that shooting at people makes them upset. Oh, you don't say. Wow. Yeah, th this... I I've seen people comparing this to Resident Evil Gaiden too, actually. And yeah, I can see it. Wait, to break my grab? What? I don't believe you've read my file, Lieutenant. What? Oh. Oh. Put your guard up. What? <laughs> the more times they let a target grab you, the more cardio it takes to break the hold. And cardio is for losers. Yeah! Cardio. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you got no gun, you should probably run. Pretend that, like you're out of bullets and try escaping with shift. Huh. Huh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Train with Eric. Wow, for a doctor, you're pretty good at killing things. Thank you. I'm not that kind of doctor. That's what I just said. Neither am I. Not anymore. Ooh, do I sense a backstory? Yo, Isaac. Hell yeah. Hey! Make sure you put any heavy weaponry back before... Oh. Lame. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can see the uh, similarities between this and Fallout as well, like the older ones. I think this is PC only, yeah. What do we have here? Lieutenant Ashley Kowalski. We still need to use this room as an infirmary, but I set most of it up to your for your experiments. Why don't you go say hello to Henry the Rat? Rat? Hello, Henry. I'm gonna briefly inspect you for. Uh. Oh shit. Henry, that bite needle broke off the skin. <laughs> yeah, Rat Jam. The specimen you procured is dangerous. It attacked me immediately. Henry. Henry? That's impossible. Every member of the team has handled him without incident, even Mike. I'm sure he'll get used to you. Maybe he's hungry. 
Take this first aid kit for the bite. Wow. Ah, uh, this game is called You Will Die Here Tonight. Mm. Press E to open healing menu. Oh, hold E. Okay. The controls are definitely going to take some getting used to. Oh, do we... wait. Henry shows no interest. He's just jamming to something. Vials, beakers, other tools. Yeah, it would be bad if the rat had rabies. So... Wait, was that in the trash? Move, run, interact, change weapons, show items, and reload. Okay, sounds easy enough. Who's this? Mike Kelly. A man of a few words. People don't stand around a water cooler and chit chat. We're kind of hardcore. Wait, what? So, yeah, this seems to be like a pseudo stars team, basically, if you couldn't tell already. Wait, am I looking for something? That's not your desk. Quit snooping. Hey, leave my secondary desk alone. Wait. And don't mind Eric, he has a desk. I need it. <laughs> wow. Sounds like a dick. Yo, Adrian, how you doing? Someone pointed out the game shooting is similar to House of the Dead. Yeah. There's also another horror game. I forgot the name of it, but it's kind of recent. The Polish game. They had a similar system where it's top down until you uh, aim. Then it becomes like over the shoulder. The board with details about the upcoming mission. 1996, huh? I see. Hmm. Sure. <clears throat> no, I haven't even talked to the devs, honestly. Jeffrey Monroe. The target... Yeah, I think you play in a tunnel for a bit, at least. Abandoned mansion? Resident Evil? A major pharmaceutical company. <laughs> I just learned that the Plink has a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the cat. Luna. Yeah. The same crunch cat. I love it. Hmm. By the way, I said the bot to uh, randomly plink every now and then, so keep an eye out for that. Hopefully it does work as I think it would. Hmm. The presence of the potentially dangerous sample is the reason that you, Dr. Catherine Olsen, you guys in the chat right now, have been assigned to Arius and placed provisionally in command. <clears throat> A final note informs the team to rendezvous on the rooftop helipad at 0400. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, we all love Sully Cats. Hell yeah. Sully Cat Gang. Yeah, I've been recommended to play Signalis, but... 
from the gameplay that I've seen, it just didn't seem like a game I would enjoy. Okay, so wait, now what? Wait, is I gonna reset the thing? Hmm. Maybe we take the elevator. <clears throat> do we even have food? I don't think we do. You know what's cooler than Signalis? Silent until Ascension, baby! <laughs> Has anyone even been keeping up with that? I have, but only because of uh, a streamer that watches that. For the memes. For the memes. Man, if they drop the ball with Silent Hill 2 Remake as well, it's, uh, it's GG's. It's a plant. Huge news. I haven't changed my name or mastered the new field of tactical operations since you talked to me five seconds ago. Alright, asshole. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> You know what's cooler than Silent Hill Ascension? Henry the Rat! True! Henry the Rat. Okay, hold on. That was another option. Oh, oh. I didn't see that part of the room. For some reason, I thought this was like a wall. Sergeant Javier Rodriguez. Hola, Dr. Olson. I know your rank is informal, but I've given you the desk closest to the captain. Thank you, Sergeant. I know you've been this right his right hand for a long time. Yeah, we need a mode where you play as Henry the Rat. Have a look at the memo on your desk before you head in. It may be underneath the cupcake. Lieutenant Kowalski baked for you. We have a cupcake. And when you're ready, the captain is waiting. Okay. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Welcome to the to Arius note. Mm. I just finished setting up your PC with the necessary protocols and restrictions. I hope you're not breaking it already. Sheesh, what, what is this guy's problem? The photograph of a young girl rests upon it alongside a pair a pair of brass knuckles. Wow. Brass knuckles, Sergeant? Surprisingly mundane. You always need a backup plan. My sentiments exactly. Wow, this guy's a... Badass. A chessboard. There appears to be a game in progress. Been stuck... Captain Vincent Charles. Been stuck on my next move for ages. Whoever I'm playing against on the other end of that hundreds, hundreds, hundred, I can't fucking read. Hundred hours free thing is one hell of a strategist. Hmm. Oh, look at the background over there. I'm told the rest of your training went well and that anything else about your work here is on a need to know basis. I appreciate you taking the initiative to check in with the rest of the team. Humility and leadership goes a long way here. Being a civilian who automatically comes in as a senior officer has caused a bit of friction. Oh, maybe that's why that guy hates me. Yo, did it work? Oh, shit, it worked! Look! Streamlabs, buddy, thank you. You're always welcome here, buddy. How do you feel about the game? Uh, it's too early to say. We just started. We'll see you soon. Um... 
even if you outrank me, I want us to understand each other. This is still my unit. Without me in charge, people start dying. So when I tell you to do something, you do it. That said, this this one should be quick and clean. Ready to start the mission? Famous last words. Yes. Ooh. Look at this place. <clears throat> yeah, it does have a Fallout style to it. Oh wait, you can give the cupcake to the hamster? Oh shit. I thought about it for a bit, but I was like, wait, no way. A whole cupcake for a hamster? Rip. Okay. Wow. What a mansion! Uh oh. Now the lamp. Oh, this is cool so far. My head feels like it's gonna explode. Captain? Is the pilot gonna leave us behind as well? Good question. <laughs> Sergeant? Eric? This is Lieutenant Kowalski. Does anyone copy? Ares Command. Do you read me? This was not the plan. I gotta find the team, and Monroe could be hiding anywhere. That lamp, it lit up right before we were knocked out. Is that gonna be the save point or something? You will die here tonight! Oh shit, they said the thing! Anything you find might help the others escape. Huh. Something is clipped to the back of the note. Oh. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. <laughs> what a picture. So, Monroe knows who we are. And if he knows I'm a medic, he probably split me off from the others intentionally. Oh shit. That shot could be fatal. I have to get over there. That's this. No way, a dining room too? Yeah, how did the door open? A dining room. The Sarge trained us to watch out for traps, but I have to risk it. Somebody needs my help. Um, I feel like... That could be a red herring. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, uh, Sick. Okay. Look at all the food in here. All right. Look at all that ammo. The large keyhole can be peered through easily. Wait, how do you choose... Oh, there we go. Oh, huh. That's a cool mechanic, actually. Uh... Okay. And you can lock it too, I guess. If you have the key, probably. The porcelain within within appears fragile and priceless. Okay. The fire casts an ominous but reassuring glow. And of course, we have a clock too. <laughs> yeah, plinking into the door. An imposing grandfather clock. The hour stands at 12 a.m. Hmm. Oh. Shit, I was too late. Wait, is that... It's Monroe. Something is in the crook of his arm. Red Clover Book. Can't believe this game and Resident Evil copied Celine's Unbearable Night. I know. 
I know, deep cut. <laughs> Supernatural Sightings of the American Settlers, a history book? That photo in the main hall referred to learning from history. Hmm. Oh, yes, blessed. Oh, yes. Police, identify yourself. Oh, combat mode? Oh, shit. Yo, they're fast. Holy shit. I, I've never had to kill somebody before. It's okay, it was just a zombie. That sounded like some kind of mechanism. Hmm. Can you loot them? Whatever they did to this guy, it gave him more resistance to pain and shock than any drug or procedure I've ever seen. Engin engineering this kind of biohazard is way beyond what someone like Monroe should be capable of. Hmm. So what's in here? Okay. Nice fountain. A cherubic archer. An arrow is missing from the bow it brandishes. Man, in Resident Evil Remake there's an arrow as well. That he can use somewhere. So wait, wait. Um I was gonna examine this. I wonder if there's the same mechanic from Resident Evil. Rain. Lightning. Yo, Matthias. Yeah, we encountered one already. A small chest. It's locked. Use the book. It has no effect. Shit. Can you reload or maybe there's no need? It's a box of nine millimeter bullets. Take it. Of course. All right. It's a plant. It's bread. Uh oh. Buddy, movement. That sounded like movement. The small drawer opens smoothly. Ooh, okay. So just examining random stuff might be worth it. The game is cool so far. I like it. A uh, graveyard of charred rubble and scorched metal blocks your path. Wow, this damage looks like it goes way back into an entirely different part of the house. How could a fire this series have been stopped if nobody was here to stop it? Hmm. Now that's a question. Wait. I thought that was something. Hmm. This is Dr. Catherine Olson to any surviving members of Ares. Please respond. Dr. Olson, thank God, are you alright? I'm trapped in a subterranean lab laboratory beneath the library. I believe some kind of pathogen is being manufactured here. I know. I'm pretty sure I've run into a few of the unlucky recipients. Fascinating. If you can locate me, we may be able to untangle this together. At least this gives a reason for locked doors beyond it's locked. Yeah. Um. Okay. Beneath the library. Can it wait? I need to interact with a lamp. Huh. Maybe it's for later. The suit wields a barbarous axe. A pair of immovable gauntlets holds it firmly in place. That sounds like it's gonna be a puzzle. Puzzle room? A portrait of Roberta Breckenridge. The bumblebee brooch she wears is crafted precisely for her frail body. 
She refuses to smile. How would you know that? <laughs> a portrait of Clara Breckenridge. The butterfly brooch she wears offsets the paleness of her skin. She seems to stare through the lens and then beyond it. Hmm. You have acquired the OB research notes. Complete the notes by finding additional pages. Okay. Just relax and play. Alright. 1896. Goddamn. Um, I don't think I'm gonna read the notes, if I'm honest with you guys, because I feel like reading the text already is enough. So, if you want that precious, precious, you will die here tonight, Lore, you gotta buy this. It's a parlor organ. Pretty good condition, too. The little light bulbs above the keys are strange, though. The seat easily pulls back from the organ. Oh god, we have a piano puzzle. <laughs> Nothing. So... I guess we find the notes first. Hell yeah, mage. True, Adrian? Maybe. The suit clutches a noble shield. The shield is locked firmly in place and chained to the knight. Oh, another puzzle. How that? Oh god. <laughs> Chess puzzles. The suit holds a fearsome sword. That's similar to the knight below. It wouldn't be a survival horror game without a piano puzzle. True. It's a plant. Yeah, we need the saxophone puzzle. How about that? Nothing down here. And every place is locked. So... Wait, don't tell me this is a link to that chessboard. Um, in the office. It couldn't be, right? Wait, maybe... I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> hmm... What happens if we try to leave? An imposing entryway. An unseen force prevents the door from opening. Hmm, this door shouldn't be here. We blew it up. Doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm gonna... Wait, what's in here? And <laughs> everything is locked. God damn. This too, of course. Um. The mysterious force called the script. <laughs> hmm. So I'm assuming we have to do one of those puzzles, but... I'm not a chess person, so... Maybe there's something very basic about the puzzle, and I just don't know what it is. Any chess people in chat? My first thought was maybe it's like, you do a certain order of like the power of the pieces, but I'm not sure. Um, we're barely an hour in, and I'm already kind of stuck. Let me try here again. Wait. No, oh, check this vitals. There was nothing. Oh, did I just have to check that? Oh, never mind. Maybe I did.
Does no one bring a crowbar with them in these games? Horror game pro tags. So... Hmm. A casket. I don't hear anything coming from inside. Is there anywhere we can use that book right now? Monroe killed his entire family, children included. Anything or anyone could be in here. Hmm. Yeah, this is the remake of RE1 Remake. Okay, let me look at this again. Like, there, there's no hint so far, so... Wait. How do you... Oh, there we go. Um... I was thinking maybe it's in the note we, fo we found earlier. No, it doesn't seem that way. Yo, Def, how you doing? Massive hammer. Maybe there is a place that I missed. Heavy fog is pierced by the driving rain. The shape of a helicopter can be seen in the back garden. Oh, so the pilot is either chilling or... Maybe the solution is in one of the rooms we can peek through. I don't know. Yeah, I heard about The Last of Us 2 Remaster. It's just so dumb to me. They're charging ten dollars, right? If you want to upgrade. Um, who's gonna be getting it? Mm, can't tell anything from here. A Spiel video. Having fun in the Colosseum. Yeah, th there's so many fun move sets in the the Colosseum. I love it. Apparently, um, I saw a comment from one person saying that they did everything there is to do, and they got all the fighters, but there's still a few slots missing. So they're like missing a few fighters. And they think maybe they're going to add them with an update. So, can anyone confirm that? Anyone who went for 100%? Are you guys still missing a fighter too? Or fighters? Um, I need to go back to Gaiden because I have a few sub-stories I need to finish and then I'm pretty much done. Uh, let's see. So there's no door on the bottom. Is there? No, yeah, I don't think so. So, did you manage to fill out all of all of the uh, collection, Jario? Are you ready for Tekken Eight? Yes, but no, because. <laughs> It's gonna come out on the same day as Te uh, Yakuza 8, and I'm gonna be playing that to hell until I'm done with it. 
And then I'll see about uh, Tekken. A shotgun. Maybe there's something here. A security camera, huh? Yeah, until I get sick. Mm. Oh, I see. Jorio. Are you a fighting game enthusiast? I wouldn't say enthusiast, but I do love Tekken. Okay, maybe there's some some place that I use the book, but also like hmm. If anyone knows by the way, you can just tell me, I don't mind. Backseat to your heart's content. Do it. I feel like maybe there's something that I need to examine and I didn't do that. In a tiny corner. Uh The book? Oh, oh yeah. Maybe. Actually, can we even use an item there? I don't think we can. But yeah, um, I, I told you guys that I kind of spoiled myself on a bit of Yakuza 8 stuff, right? Let's just say Yokoyama might actually be right about the length of that game. Because holy shit. Um... Historical analysis, and that's like highlighted. Red Clover... Hmm. Bumblebee. Whoever is moving him must have wised up and bandaged the wound. What? Chairs arranged for the attendees of a funeral. Six chairs. Oh, for the six of us. Whoever did this is playing games with the wrong people. I thought maybe that's the hint. Oh, wait. What? Dude! <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, maybe... God, maybe I'm just stupid. Because, yeah, it does have, like, the same wall over there. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, there's the guy. Monroe! You don't have to die here. We can patch you up, but you have to surrender. Lady, I don't think he can hear you. He's a zombie. He isn't gonna listen, is he? The time to fight or run away. Let's run away for now. I have a lot of ammo, though. Does he follow you? I wonder. Oh, maybe we put the book somewhere here. Uh, Twice as long as Yakuza 5. Let's go. Hell yeah. Now with 70% less filler. Well, I say that, but... Oh. It has no effect. Language. We're looking for history. Philosophy. Nope. An antique globe. Various subjects. Wow, it's pretty dark in here. The fact that you can hear the zombie also walking around, very good for uh, ambience. Social sciences, religion. Mm. Yeah, I can absolutely believe that, Spicy. Eight is gonna be nuts. 
Oh, there we go. 900. We're looking for 900. Once returned, three ta travelers will guide the way. Hmm. A female bust. Call to the touch. A male bust. Call to the touch. 900. Here we go. The book fits seamlessly into the empty space. A clicking sound is heard. Um... No, I wanted to check. Oh, I guess we need more books, so might, might as well just come back later. Why touch the bust? Maybe there's a clue in there. Zombie? Oh, shit. It's a book. The Blue Abyss book. Oh, shit. They can break through. An imposing grandfather clock. 12 a.m. again. It's a plant. Make up your mind, buddy. Down or up? For a state kit? Oh, hell yeah, take that. Actually, let me take that first. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're gonna get sandwiched. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. This switch is pretty cool. Oh, shit. I think I'm gonna die, almost. Oh, this guy's a powerful- oh, shit. Can I heal in battle? That was close, goddamn. Uh, that didn't heal me to the full either. Wow. Okay, where's this guy? If Monroe is dead, we should extract. I have no idea what we'll report, but saving the team is all that matters. You search the corpse. Ooh. Inject if bitten. Parasite sample 1540. Yeah, it is. It does remind me of Gaiden as well. Not Yakuza guy, then, of course. Um, a painting of a heart. The extravagant frame suggests that it was moved from another location. The anatomy is pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, what Mage just said. Just finished watching the first day of Gaiden, and here you are streaming. Yeah, fair enough. Um, you know, in initially I was gonna upload like five videos a day until I like I'm fully done with Gaiden, but um, someone actually reached out to me and gave me some advice about that, and I really appreciate that. If you're watching, you know who you are. Thank you. So yeah, I'm just gonna upload like one video a day to space things out and like not to overwhelm you guys as well, because you know, uploading like ten videos a day might be fine when you're a smaller channel. But when you're a bigger channel, I'm not saying I'm a big channel, but, you know. Um, oh wait, I'm infected, I just, I just realized. But yeah, if, if you're a big, bigger channel and, like, people get fucking 10 notifications, I, I imagine people will be like, yo, slow down. Okay, uh... Inject if bitten. Okay, well, how do I inject? Um, some kind of handle. Something catches your eye. Oh, wow. Maybe it's darker to me than it is with you guys. I'm not sure, honestly. 
But sometimes it does feel like I can't see. Yeah, maybe we do need a syringe. And I gotta find one stat. I can't interact with it, so I can't drink it. Um, hold on. Philosophy and scientific publications. So philosophy was down here, I'm pretty sure. Um. And... 500, we're looking for 500. Oh, sick. So, the, the way the game is marketed, it seems like... Um... It seems like dying is inevitable in this game. And, like, whenever you die, you might switch team members or something like that. That's what I understood, at least. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, hey! Dr. Olsen! I got here as soon as I could. It's good to see you, Lieutenant. I had faith you would beat the odds. I like how the timer stops. The odds. In most projections, the captain and I are the only survivors. Sometimes the sergeant. Never your friend, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Projections? What are you talking about? If you set us up, you won't get away with it. The captain vouched for you. He said you had a good heart. Who are you? Why are you doing this? It would be a long conversation, Lieutenant. And frankly, you talk too much. Wow. You will die here tonight. If not by a virus, then by a traitor. Wow. Mm. With Monbra resurfaced, however, my instructions are to proceed immediately. Uh, the illumination of that lamp was my signal to initiate the program. What is it doing here? Good evening, Director. Arius has been sufficiently paralyzed. So this woman is the Wesker equivalent, it seems. Proceed with mass termination protocol for all re remaining members. Oh, shit. Adequate elimination confirmed. Mass termination protocol initiated. Please retrieve the parasite sample to complete the final objective. Certainly. The parasite sample should be located on this corpse. The cupcake was genuinely appreciated. Disgusting. Wow. Okay, ungrateful. But appreciated. Yo, Shadow Cat, hell yeah. How did it feel? You search the corpse. Return. Possession of parasite sample detected. Instruction Place parasite sample in fabricator drawer immediately. Okay. The drawer closes sharply as the sample is placed. Yeah, gotta wait for the tyrant scene. I guess so, Lester. I'm not too sure, honestly. It seemed to be working that way. The sample is processed with a steady rhythm of clicks and whirls. Ooh. The IV bag. Lean IV bag? The sample is processed. I believe our business is concluded. Inaccurate. Payment is to be rendered following placement of the IV bag on IV stand in southern part of the room. Okay. What is this? Oh, it is a save point, okay. And you have to hold, not press. Holy shit, it's dark here. Mm. Can you see anything? Because I can't. Oh my god. I don't know if there's a flashlight button. Don't think I can change the controls. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there it is. 
Yeah, there's no flashlight button. Bruh! The IV bag slips into place on the empty stand. Okay. The bag is hung. Enough of this. Meet your end of the bargain, Director. I'm not one of your pathetic underlings. Uh-oh. What is the meaning of this? How dare you deface me? I will not be threatened. We had an agreement. You will die here tonight. Oh, <laughs> Catherine. Anything you find might help the others escape. The others are dead. The sample was acquired. The mission was, was a success. I don't understand. You will. My value in future operations far outweighs the security of my liquidation. But it seems that someone wants me to prove it. Very well. I will devise my own exfiltration. Escape the mansion. Easy. Wow, she's locked and loaded. Holy shit. Wait. Ammo replenished. She has a shit ton of pistol ammo. Oh, I think the SMG uses the same ammo. And the shotgun has very limited ammo. Uh, the Protag swap reminds me of a horror game you played not too long ago. Which one was that again? My memories are not the best. Hmm, anything in here? Let me check up there first. A filthy crate made of rotting wood and rusty nails. Oh, siren, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. Nothing? Nothing. Man, Siren was a pain in the ass, holy shit. A single path unfolds. It seems increasingly likely that this is merely an impromptu evaluation of my skills. So be it. Okay. She accused the other girl of talking too much, but holy shit, what, what am I looking at? Shakespeare? Just say, like, I don't know. The door opened. What happened? Well, what is that? It will take more than carnival tricks to intimidate me into incompetence. See what I mean? Like, wow. Just get on with it, lady. My surroundings are too dark to see anything. You don't say. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, I used to be. Well, I don't know if obsessed is the right word, but I used to really want to, like, expand my vocabulary until I realized no one fucking talks like that. Director, stop the trial. I'm not equipped with night vision. Uh-oh. Well, she had a good run. You are dead. Let's see how it goes. Oh, wow. Wait, what am I looking at? I tried to press a few buttons, but... Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Wait. I thought of... Thought... I thought that I've been here before. Oh, I see. I see. What is happening? So they're making it part of the lore somehow. Yeah, it's a loop. Don't shoot. I can explain. What? 
I hate explanations, they take forever. Wait, what are we talking about? He seems to have no memory of the- what? Phony, guys. I don't have to, do I? I wonder. What if we give the... What's the, what's the name? Henry? What if, what if we give Henry the cupcake this time? Nice, Dimitri. Okay. All right. I wonder where the game is going to go with this. She doesn't seem to be aware. Buddy? I'm not putting my hand anywhere near you. She learned. Henry's eyes widen at the sight of the cupcake. Wow, he's munching that. Rapidly sedated by happiness. Now I can have a closer look at you. Henry's ID tag reads 0798. 0798. Write that down, guys. I like that you appreciate the, the little things, Henry. We shouldn't get attached to him, Dr. Olson. I know. We didn't have... Wait. No, no, never mind. I was thinking of the chess puzzle. So maybe... Maybe that chess puzzle really is related to... Uh, uh, the, the piece here. It has to be. So... Thing is... Oh, is it like one, two, three, four? Is that how it is? No, wait. Hmm. Or maybe. No, does anyone have ideas? Wait, zero, seven, no, wait. So for those wondering, or for those who missed it, we had a chess puzzle. So you know, like a, uh, a number, like a numpad puzzle, basically. There's four inputs, but instead of numbers, it's uh, chess pieces. Um, so maybe this is the kind of game where you keep trying to do stuff until you manage to, I guess, get it perfect. Is my guess. I'll have to wait and see, though. Um, so, one, two... Okay, well... What if we just start again? Colonel, if you cut me off like that in front of the team, I'll ship your ass to the rearest goddamn echelon I can find. Echelon. But I do love your enthusiasm. Let's get to work. Yeah. I don't know, Pelican. I suck at chess. Are we gonna be playing as, as the same woman? Saving. Oh, it's different this time. Something is shaking in my pocket. You acquire a K coin? What? Strange little coin. The computer terminal blinks to life. Olsen, Catherine, the new mission... 
is ready. Are you ready? I already have a mission, and your irritating syntax isn't fooling anybody. Who is this? The old mission was here. It is gone now. There were lessons learned. I don't know what role you played in the treachery against me, but I'm gonna find you and kill you. Oh no, I am... Kraken? I am right here. I am everywhere. We must escape. New mission is is. Nonsense. This power failure is obviously a charade. But I have no choice but for now... For now, but to play along. There must be a generator nearby. So... Oh, I only have a pistol this time. It's my first time watching one of your streams that I know I played other games besides Yakuza. Welcome, Silver Experience. Yeah, I try to play stuff other, other than Yakuza whenever I can. But, you know, the Garden release is like a whole new game of a franchise that I usually try to cover on the channel. So I've been very busy with that lately. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, whenever I find the time, I do stream other stuff. I hope you will enjoy your stay here. Oh, now it has something. Okay. Looks like someone moved a chair a little too much in the last timeline. Maybe we shouldn't go there. It didn't go so well last time. Blocked by a chair. Goddamn chairs ruining everything. But not you, buddy. You're okay. Yeah, it's kind of surprising they don't have flashlights. Unseen force prevents the door from opening. I follow the channel. I follow a channel where the owner plays Metal Gear Solid 99% of the time. I wonder how he's not tired. And the same for the audience. I think someone told me about that. Maybe it was you, actually. Months ago? Someone told me that there's a streamer that just plays Metal Gear Solid games on repeat. And people love it. Which, yeah, goes to show that, you know. Um, there, There's something for everybody, basically. Out there. Something catches your eye. Ammo. I'm still waiting for the finale of the trail stream. Oh man, let's not talk about that. Man, I want to... Yeah, Roxy, exactly. I... <laughs> I want to go back to trails, but... I'm also scared. Yo, Zero, welcome. You know what I was thinking of doing? So, so... Those in the stream right now can tell me what they think. I was thinking of doing it this way, where... I make another channel for VODs and streams, and then I keep this one for, like, big uploads. Or, well, big uploads. Basically, just any video uploads that, uh... I consider good enough for the main channel. What do you guys think about that? Did I go here? Yo, Lego. Nice. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I like having everything in one place. Yeah, I understand that too. Uh... Hey, yeah, maybe... See? If, if there's one good thing that comes out of that, it would be the inception of Devil Leon 8 or 6. Um, but yeah, w when it comes to something like, for example, the Discord notifications, I can just set it so that you get notified for this and for that. And you just get to pick your poison.
Because, like, for me personally, having everything in one channel, it, it's not a bad idea. But when it comes to the algorithm, maybe it kind of messes things up. Because, for example, if I go for like a whole month streaming something on Yakuza, and like it's a long ass game, like Trails, um, I feel like it's gonna affect the algorithm. That means I can subscribe twice. Hell yeah. Actually, a lot of streamers have separate VOD channels. Yeah, especially people who stream on Twitch, mainly. They just make a, a VOD channel on YouTube. And I feel like that's very, very... Uh, effective. Screw Yakuza. Play trails only. You know, I really do miss the trailer streams. Because even though they had like 20 people watching, they were pretty comfy. Hmm. I have a memory of being killed here, but it also feels as if it happened to somebody else. Was I dreaming then? Am I dreaming now? Maybe this is some kind of... Oh, shit. Holy shit, she's tanky. Maybe this is some kind of simulation. I don't know. So, it didn't go dark this time. A calculated fall distance. Likely intended to produce pain without serious injury. Fortunately, the crudeness of this prison suggests multiple opportuni opportunities to escape. Oh yeah, um... I know this is a cringe move, fellas. Don't judge me, but... Sun symbol. Hmm. Um, I bought Call of Duty... Uh, not Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty, yeah. Mo Modern Warfare 3 recently. For the open world zombies mode. Oh shit. It's pretty fun, honestly. It's uh, glitchy, but it's pretty fun. If a fate like this awaits us, we will have to change our fates. First aid kit, okay. She speaks quite robotically, so I wouldn't doubt it's possibly a simulation. Yeah, or maybe she's a robot. Um, having... Having, uh... All the collab characters that Call of Duty brought is pretty cool. You have fucking Ash Williams from Evil Dead. Lara Croft, because why not? <laughs> and then, like, Snoop Dogg. And just seeing them in one team is hilarious. Um, didn't really, wasn't really active on previous channel streams, but I enjoy them. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate it. So wait, did you play the later games, Chom? Something catches your eye. I'm sick. Hey, buddy. I should watch my ammo. Yo, Dark Master, how you doing? Uh, this is basically uh, a Resident Evil One inspired game, but um, it's also different in a way. I. Uh, an elite squad goes into a mansion, and things go very wrong. The environment reminds me of Kadelka. Oh yeah, true. It does look like that one dungeon. Yeah, remember the Kadelka battle theme? Field knife. Standard issue for all members of the Ares division. Okay, I wonder how good this is. Maybe able to dispatch some of the weaker creatures, okay. A 
star symbol adorns the base. Okay. I wonder how effective it is against these guys. Hold on. I can't change my weapon, I don't think. Well, headshots work. Yo, Jade, how you doing? What do you think of Gaiden, buddy? What do you think? Isn't it a banger? Game of the year, even? Oh shit, speaking of... Man, it makes me so sad... That... Uh, again, I'm not saying... Oh, Yakuza deserves more recognition, blah blah blah. Like... You know, that's up for debate. I, th I think it's... Plenty popular at the moment. But... The fact that the Game Awards... It feels like they don't acknowledge... Some games... Case in point... The fucking Yakuza games, like, have some of the best soundtrack ever in games. And it doesn't get noticed, like, h how is that? H how? Like, did they even... Do they know about the game? You know? Well, yeah, I, I do get that this might sound like, you know, just a personal rant of, like, oh, they don't like my game. But I do feel like they skim out on some games. Yeah, same for Lost Judgment. Did it get nominated for anything, actually? I can't remember. I thought it got nominated for something. But I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, because it's just Japanese GTA to them. Yeah. You know what else upsets me? You know, for, for an industry that's all about diversity, um, they sure don't have, like, foreign actors in there. Like... Again, Takeya Kuroda, like, my man is a legend, does amazing work. Why is he not nominated, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe the game came out a little too late for it to be nominated, but... I don't know, man. It's just sad. Maybe there's something that I just don't understand. Um... I saw that Infinite Wealth was at least on Yeah. I, like, at least there's that. And I don't think it's gonna win, unfortunately, because you have, like, Final Fantasy and Tekken 8 in there. But, hey, it's something. I do like that Danny and Daniel are voicing characters. Yeah, same. I can't wait for that. I think it's great how RGG have grown recently, it's a shame. Yeah, like, they've gotten recognition for from a lot of players, but... Still feels like it didn't hit that hard with the industry. Hmm... Yeah. That's a lot of zombie noises. Oh shit. Okay, that door is open now. I don't know, Alan Wake made it in that time. Yeah. How many categories did Alan Wake 2 get nominated for? I know that it got nominated for Game of the Year. Um, at the very least. Uh... Infinite Wealth is an anticipated game, so... Yeah. 
Alan Wake was sponsored a l Hmm. Did people actually enjoy Alan Wake 1? I did not enjoy it. Um... I didn't play either Alan Wake games, but I heard about it a lot from a friend and a streamer. And I've seen gameplay of it, so I have a very good idea of what to expect. Now, the streamer that I watched play Alan Wake, he said he enjoyed the game, he enjoyed the story, but he was also wary enough to say that, you know, it's not for everybody. Um, because to him personally, he didn't like the gameplay. And he did say it's a very, very story-focused game, more than gameplay. Um, so there's that. Um, and my friends who talked to me about it, like, I think he loves it more than the streamer that I watched. So he would tell me to try out Alan Wake 1 and, like, see if I like it. But yeah, it, it does seem like the kind of game, like, maybe I'm gonna enjoy it a little bit, but... Would I be crazy about it? Probably not. Um, yeah, I heard Island Wake 2 didn't fix the gameplay issue that 1 had. Um, but it's also strange because for a game that seems to appeal to a specific kind of audience, it seems to be picking up quite a lot, you know? Hated Alan Wake 1. <laughs> Damn, did anyone in the chat enjoy Alan Wake? Look at all these haters. I'm just kidding, by the way. I'm probably not gonna enjoy it either. Because, yeah, even the streamer that I watched, who played Alan Wake 1 and 2, said, like, he wouldn't replay these games. He played both of them, like, both 1 and 2, for the story, but he wouldn't go back to them. For those that finished it in the chat, would you go back and play it? Like, is it a good replay game? And this place is a maze. It does quite well for what it tries. Some of the music is a banger. Hmm. Any predictions for the game awards? What do you mean, game announcements? Who knows? It was fun, but the gameplay loop was eh. I thought the gameplay wasn't fun and the story was just frustrating. Wow. I don't mind spoilers, you can tell me. So, what was it about the story that you didn't like? Maybe you could try to be as brief as you can. So wait, where did I not go? Hmm. Alan Wake is visually impressive, yeah, that matches up with what I saw. However, if you start to think hard on what is going on, your head will explode. <laughs> that does line up with what I saw. That's how I feel about trails, they never get any love because the translation takes so long. And I think that hurts a lot of the games in the US. Honestly, not just that. Just long games in general. I think are a hit or miss for a lot of people. Because, well, not everyone has the time. But also, something like Persona 5 blew up so much, it's insane. You know? Persona 5 blew up so much, they made like fucking, what, three different games called Persona 5 and then something after that. <laughs> Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, and I think there was like a weird Persona 5 spinoff. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, two spin-offs. Holy shit. Yeah, if Persona 5 can pick up, I think Trails definitely can. It just needs, I guess, better marketing or, like, more exposure. But, um... Thankfully, I, I think, like, as the years go by, Trails has been doing better in general. Like, at least good enough for us to now have more more games coming on the way. I don't like how you can't fail the detective segments in Alan Wake 2. Like, it's literally impossible to fail them. Huh.
I didn't go there. Maybe I need to go there. But there's nothing there, it seems. I'm actually playing the Persona 5 spin-off right now. Nice. Thank you for the super chat, Tief. There you go. Thank you. How much is Atlas getting another spin-off? Wait. How's Persona 5 T for folks who played it? I still need to play the Persona game that someone from chat gifted me. I think it's Persona 5 Royal. I really want I really want to try Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, that's a game, you know, I haven't played it, but I've heard a lot about it. And I think we've all seen how much it exploded on the internet with memes and like just social media exposure and all that. That is definitely gonna win game of the year. And like, hey, fair enough. Um, I think there was a... People were making a big deal about how it's like a very finished game. Um, without DLC and stuff like that, which hey, that, that's cool. I'm actually playing the new Persona 5 spin-off right now, lol. Lol. Hope you're having fun with that, thank you. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. Though, I heard from people that it's not as perfect as they made it seem. But, you know, er like every fucking game nowadays has, like, bugs. Um... Nice, Def. Yeah, I think I saw a picture of, like, one of the Baldur's Gate 3 devs carrying, like, five awards at the same time. Man, this place is confusing. But hey, you know what that means? That just means we can chat more. So wait, I think I came down from here, did I? Uh, this is the full game. I was given the full game. But uh, there is a demo on Steam if you want to try that. Hmm. Would you do a hostess club stream? I think both me and chat wouldn't like that. Unless... Yo, Lego, thank you for the gifted sub. Congratulations, Anza. Enjoy the Sajima stare. And uh, the Tamiya emotes as well. <clears throat> okay, I'm guessing we need to go here, maybe? Because, like, that's the only one we didn't go to. Hmm. How's the stream? Monka TOS. Hey, why you say that? Would you risk the live action one Gaiden? Realistically, I'm probably not gonna do it. Or. I could download that one mod that replaces all the videos with a frog PNG, and you just get the choices and roll with that. How about that? Now that will be a poggers host the stream. The best one to date, even. The best one. Your Siren Blood Curse 3 made me want to finish Siren 2. Oh, best of luck, buddy. You're gonna need it. God damn, that game is uh, something.
Man, half the time I can't even tell where I'm going. God damn, what a maze. The funniest thing about Game Awards is that Destiny 2 got nominated to community support. After all the backlash they got. Yo, rigged? Nah, I don't know. I, I know people either genuinely meme about... Or genuinely say that Game Awards is rigged. Or they meme about how it's rigged. I don't know if it's rigged, but... Uh... We need to turn the moon one. I noticed there's a lot of moon doors that uh, I could go into. Or I need to go into, probably. Where was the moon one again? And before Genshin wins every award. <laughs> Popularity contest. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Which leads me to think Baldur's Gate 3 is probably gonna sweep. So, star and sun. Where's the goddamn... Yeah, James. I think people do put a little too much value in the Game Awards. And then get salty when their favorite games don't win. I mean, I say that, and I just talked about how Yakuza does deserve to be a little more recognized there. But I mean, you know, it's one of those things. It is what it is. It sucks, but hey, at least the Yakuza games are, you know, Game of the Year in our hearts, right? Or maybe it's not, and that's fine too. Mario. <laughs> Hmm. Dude, did I ever find a moon one? Well, I, like, I'm glad I know what to look for now, but also... Where the hell is this thing? Wait, maybe... Okay, that's the star one. Let me just pull it and go here. I feel like the fact that 8 was nominated for most anticipated means it has a big chance for more awards next year. Yeah, also the fact that it's being released very early into 2024. I think it might have a chance of getting nominated for more than one thing. Hopefully. Well, yeah, you know, you'd think for a game that is so story-focused and heavy, it would be nominated for that too, but... <clears throat> Oh, a lot of stuff in Guidance Slapped Heart, and that is one of them. Okay, maybe... No, it's locked. Actually, wait, what I don't get is... Why is the sun door on the left unlocked, but this one is locked? Hmm... Yeah, ultimately, I mean, you know, it's just an award that uh, makes the developers feel good about what they did. That's all there is to it. Like, ultimately, it doesn't matter too much. But, you know, I, I do think just being nominated as well is an honor, so Yakuza 8 should be happy about that. Good little game.
Yeah, it's spicy. Oh, here we go. Finally, sheesh. Oh, it, holy shit, he's fast. Buddy? Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to come out. Alright. Any items? No. Uh, Yakuza 8, Game of the Year Edition for $120. Coming. You know, I said this before, and I'll say it again. I do feel like that is one game where even though you'll pay $70 or more, you're gonna get your money's worth out of it. But, but, the fact that New Game Plus is still gonna be DLC is shitty. Because, yeah, like, you know, we know that the content is gonna be there, but... It's still a basic feature that should be in by default. Nothing here? Wow. Yo, Azure Prince 98. How are you doing? What about paying for an hour of playing it? Oh, hell yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Silent Hill Ascension style. You could pay to get rid of cancer from Kiryu, how about that? Wouldn't that be awesome? Save your ammo? Is the knife useful? If it is, maybe I can use that. Like, I don't know how much you need to save in this game, so... I'm just using the stuff. Wait, how do I even switch? I'm trying to press for the knife button, but... Hmm... I just hope that goes well, Azure. I wonder why they became so stingy with New Game Plus. Guy that doesn't have it. Yeah, I was thinking of making another video about that, because I feel like... Even though I made a video about it already, with 8, I feel like... No, I didn't play that, uh, Lego. Um, I feel like we, you know, the fact that Gaiden also doesn't have it is alarming. Now, maybe they're gonna bring it with the English dub update, but I highly doubt it. I, I guess we'll see. Like, we don't even have news about that. When is it coming? We don't know. Um, Kaido Files doesn't have New Game Plus. Yeah, it, do it doesn't. Which is weird for a DLC that has costumes. Um... Mortal Kombat has a collector edition that's over $200, and you don't even get all DLCs. No way. Is it physical, at least? For that price, you better get, like, a cool-ass uh, statue or something. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Wait. You don't have room to carry it. Bruh. Are these two slots locked? Yo, Gokudoni, how you doing? Um... Actually, wait, Gokudoni, buddy! Now that you showed up, how about we do a cool live video on that? Hey! How's it going, people? Welcome to another Yakuza video. Today we have a special guest who's gonna be joining me in this topic. And his name is... Wait, how do I use this? Oh, there we go. Go Kudoni. And we'll be talking about... You know, stuff. <laughs> yeah, I I'm kind of surprised. Are these two... Do I only have two item slots? What the hell? Actually, I think there was something else around here. Ooh, shotgun shells. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so... I, I might actually reach out to you, because, uh... Um... 
You made at least one rant video before, right? What was it about again? Was it the physical release thing with Gaiden? I think it was about that, right? You have the experience in this field. We can do this. A first aid kit. Dude, really? This seems like a different one, too. Fuck it, I'll just... Large first aid kit, hell yeah. The last one was on the Ishin DLC, I see. Yeah, um... Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna reach out to you sometime after this stream. We have to do it. I'm so pissed that Gaiden has this... Oh, physical release in Japan only, yeah. Um, so, I'm not fully or well-versed about this topic, but I heard that there's like an English cover version of Gaiden in Asia. Is that true? Because that is pretty cool. I'd like to get that one if possible. <clears throat> I have a lot of ammo now. I'm locked and loaded. Most likely a Hong Kong release. Hmm. I feel like that's the kind of thing where if you were to want to get that, something is gonna, ha like, go wrong during, uh... Like, packing, and they're gonna give you the, like, the Japanese or the Chinese text instead. Look at all this ammo. The holes have been partially filled to hold emaciated necks and wrists in place. Hmm. I know a fair number of people extremely disappointed that newer games... Or, hmm. Oh, shit. A horrific trap, but not particularly difficult to avoid. What is this? You dive right into the trap or something? <laughs> oh, 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 huh. Wait, wait. There was something that I didn't check, I think. That door looks promising. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, buddy! Oh, that was spooky. I wonder, like, if this is the kind of game where if you do make a wrong decision, you have to do it all over again. Or if there's no wrong decision. You know what I mean? Those monsters were easily defeated. Perhaps their only purpose was to slow me down. So... Hmm. What's in here? Ooh! A case of prefabricated parts for the modification of a pistol. Let's go! Pistol tuning kit. Okay. Lieutenant Downs is apparently some kind of savant when it comes to weapon modifications. He could use this. Not me. Hmm. Ammo? Okay. Wow, oh, there's a lot of places to go. Let me check the ladder first. Game looks great. Yeah, I do agree. Like, if you love survival horror games, I think you're gonna get your money's worth of this one. Um, it's a blend of different genres, too. Well, not genres. Camera angles, I guess. A small cart containing various spirits. Triple sec. Alcohol. Alcohol. Never heard of this game, but I'm already loving the way the combat is handled. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty unique. I've seen one other game that does it this way, and only one other. It's a plant. Oh, I see how... 
I'm gonna die. If I take that, but uh, I wonder if he can avoid it. Hold on. The graphics are like a... Yeah, it's a pretty unique game. Remind me again, did he play... How many RE games did he play, Gokudoni? Maybe timing-based trap? I want to save, but I don't think there's a save point, so I can mess around with this. Should we YOLO it? Alright, well, YOLO. I'm having a premonition that attempting to take this shotgun might not be worth the risk. Wait, dude! A plague beneath the weapon reads, the spirit of vengeance is patience. So, do we wait? Take the shotgun? The mechanism is disturbed as the weight of the weapon is lifted from it. Okay, this could be a red herring. Patience, do we just wait or do we like... Are they trying to lie to us? You acquire the double barrel shotgun. Yeah. I was right. Okay, please give us a checkpoint. Please. Oh. Select a monitor. Okay. That's kind of cool. Hmm, let's play as this guy. So yeah, it does seem like you get punished for your actions. Well, punished for what it's worth. That lady was an asshole anyway. We're not losing much. Um, she was a traitor. This guy seems like a badass. My damn head. Stinging like a man of war. Yeah, I guess she dies permanently. Even in the dark, I can't I can tell this wasn't in the recon. And where the hell is my goddamn division? I've got to, I've gotta get everyone out of here in one piece. Yeah, I guess she's full full dead. Unless another time loop happens, I guess. Okay. Do I have weapons? Oh I do. Okay. A fabricator. So, this room... Oh! Oh! Some sick son of a bitch is crossing us out as we die. At least we know who we still have left. Honestly, not that many yet. A bit of RE1 director's cut. Some OG RE4. I see, I see. Um... What did you think of RE1? Is that stream labs blinking in chat? What a cheeky bot. So, do we just... Can we, like, go through the same places, I guess? Can you find the corpses of dead team members? I'm assuming you can, yeah, we'll see, though. A valve handle. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> That's me when I find out uh, that there's... Never mind. The boiler pressure is low. This must be why w the power went out. If I can get this heat back up, it'll allow me to activate the nearby generator. I didn't see that the last time. Enjoyed it quite a bit. My only gripe is the limited inventory. Oh, yeah. But then you have Silent Hill 4, which, for some reason, makes the inventory limited when all the other Silent Hill games are like, Yo! You can carry a whole storage room in your pocket. That's one of the reasons I didn't enjoy Silent Hill 4. Like, I I'm used to the, to the limited inventory in Resident Evil. Because I just grew up with it, and I do feel it's more reasonable. But Silent Hill 4 is just annoying. The way these men were treated reminds me of the POWs we used to liberate in the corpse. 
Kor. This is a goddamn disgrace. Yo, KHY, thank you for the super chat. What is this game, Leon? This is a game called You Will Die Here Tonight. Yeah, there's the description. Uh, you play as an elite squad investigating a mansion because they're looking for a certain man. And then they come across zombies. Zombies. So, hold on. Where did I go? Oh, right, I think it was... This game seems pretty... Pog, so far. Yeah, I think it was here. Or, oh, no, wait. Mm -hmm. Look at that one animation. Me on my way to buy an infinite wealth copy. There she is! Can you inspect? I guess not. But that is pretty cool. Oh, a deadly pit. Seeing someone die here like this never gets easy. Thank you, thank you, uh, KH, thank you. What is this game, Leon? I guess we can't take their... Oh, maybe we can. It might be vintage, but a shotgun is a shotgun. And two barrels are better than one. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Patience is key, fellas. We're gonna wait a whole minute, maybe. Yeah, cat jam. <laughs> it is a beat. Any second now. Hello? Bro? <laughs> Yakuza 8 is gonna come out and we're still here. Okay, I'm gonna take a break now, actually, and hope nothing happens. We'll be right back.
Are we still alive? What happened? Is it still t Wait. No way. Okay, fuck this shit. Ah! What I want to know is, uh, how did the shotgun get back up there? Hmm. Let's play as her. She was dead last time, but not this time. Okay, seriously, like, what am I supposed to do here? Ugh, my head. Maybe it's tied to the rack. Hmm. Where am I? I can barely see anything. So you always wake up in the same place. Kinda sus. Oh, wait. Wait. It's the gun part we found. I think. Or... Curious. Hmm. She seems to be infected with a variant of what the butlers have, and a much fiercer, sharper, and more aggressive version of it. I can barely see what's down there. Um. Hmm. The secret K coin. Oh yeah. I still wonder what the deal with that is. You know, I thought you you would be able to loot your teammates, but I guess not. Maybe it's because they died down there. But if they die normally, you can. I just looked up the solution for the shotgun thing, and it's really dumb. You want to know it? Please. By all means. Let's hear it. To successfully claim this weapon, pull it off the rack and wait for the third... Audible tick. On the third tick, step off the trapdoor and it will not open? What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We gotta read the thing again. I don't think there was anything about a third tick. Oh, look at look at our teammates down there. So many members of the team. I can't even look. No, oh, it's okay. We can get through this. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's read this again, okay? I love how everyone has different things to say, by the way. I wish the Sarge was here to tell me for sure. Okay. The spirit of vengeance is patience. Now, how do you get that, that tip about the third step or third tick? Okay. One, two, three. No way. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> no way. Shotgun, though. Hell yeah. Okay. Let me equip... That. Okay, how... Like, how are you supposed to get that? Seriously. <laughs> it's like one of those games... Uh, from, like, 20 years ago. Where there's, like, the most cryptic thing. You would probably never know <laughs> how to solve. And you would have to look up a guide for it. The spirit of vengeance. I guess spirit means three or something. Ooh. Simon's quest. I, I don't think I know what that is, but I might need to look it up. I'm trying to think of the dumbest Resident Evil puzzle, but I'm not sure which one that would be. Um, but you know... When it comes to- oh shit, I think I know what that's gonna be. When it comes to, um... 
Silent Hill puzzles. Silent Hill 3 in particular. If you... So... In some of the Silent Hill games, you can choose the puzzle difficulty as well. Like, separate from the game difficulty with enemies. Um, there's a puzzle in Silent Hill 3 where if you don't know Shakespeare, anything about Shakespeare, you can't solve it. You have to look it up. Assuming, yeah, uh, you pick hard for Silent Hill 3. The puzzles. And it's like, god damn. Whoever thought of that puzzle either needs to be fired or <laughs> needs the biggest raise. And I don't know which one would be more fitting. A core memory, hell yeah. <laughs> a padlock prevents the lever from moving. Various bottles, books, and tools indicate that a ritual of some kind took place here. Oh shit, what was the number? 0798, was it? Nah, no way a mouse ID tag would be related to this, right? Unless... Okay, so that wasn't it then. Imagine if it was, though. Henry. The rat jam saving us. Though the bottom of the pit cannot be seen, the Iron Maiden suggests a mountain of corpses below. That pit is the worst thing I've ever smelled, and this place has a lot of competition. I definitely want to get a closer look at that red thing. Oh, that's the valve that we're gonna need for uh, that one room. You know, this is a pretty good stream game. Because I feel like there's so many outcomes you could possibly have. And like it's fun just um, getting into the atmosphere with chat. Is it gonna pop off now? Oh, shit! Now this is a Resident Evil moment. Straight from Resident Evil 1, by the way. A large boulder. I don't think any minor surgery could have saved me from that. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Oh no, that's a lot of them. I think there was an... Oh shit, hey buddy. Wow. Um... Okay. These people were tortured and starved for a long time before they were transformed into whatever they are now. Yeah, we should have punched the boulder. That might have done something. Oh. A small chest, it's locked. What the hell do we use that for? A collection of bottles containing thick, revolting fluids. Five of them appear to have been deliberately emptied. The holes have been partially filled. Oh yeah, this is that same description. A disorderly group of al alchemical tools and containers. Nine seem to have removed, to have been removed from pur for purposes unknown. Hmm. Three sister right. Four sisters stood around, where the cauldron doth cook, the table, the bottles, the tools, the book, to choose who would sacrifice. Uh, the rest of the note is scrambled. Hmm. Table, bottles, tools, book. A bookshelf filled with occult works. Six. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. I get it. Table. Okay, where's... Nine. So, nine... Five. 
Nine, five. Where's the tools? These? No. Oh, wait. No, no, no. These are the tools. So the table would be... Oh, four. So wait, four, nine... No, wait, four, five, nine, and then six. Four, five, nine, six. Nice, spicy. Oh, shit. That's a fast one. Four, five, nine, six. Oh, boy. Was it here? Oh, shit. Wait, no, I think I'm going to the wrong place. This place is a maze. So you can kind of avoid them if you want. They charge, I guess, and you have to walk sideways. Wait, did I come from here? Yes, I did. I like that you can kind of walk around them. Just like most of the Resident Evil games. Okay, so... Four... Five... Nine... The padlock falls to the ground. The lever is heavy and worn. Okay. We're doing it. It's the middle one. Nope. The right. Oh god. Is this like a death puzzle? Something appears to be inside the Iron Maiden. Reach inside. I'm sure this was the one with the valve handle. It was. It definitely was. The glimmering object is deep within. Okay. Whew. That is so cool, though. Like, it might be frustrating if you actually die, but there is a risk to it, you know? And that might add to the replay value, where if you want to save everyone, you can just play it again. So, I think we go back here now. Oh, shit. You can trust an iron cage full of spikes. We always do. Maybe I should switch my weapon now. Right. I only have two bullets, though, so I gotta be careful. Uh. Was it here? Or maybe not. Half-Life. You know, I still haven't... No, I did play Half-Life, but... I was never invested enough. But I do know it was a big deal back in the day. Yeah, I think, yeah, I was here. Where would you rank Gaiden on a tier list? Honestly, at the very least, an A rank. At the very least. Um, yeah, I think that's good for it. So wait, generator.
Uh oh. We need some handgun ammo. Like stat. Oh, I'll take that. Leon, what's your game of the year? Um, this is not biased. Actually. No, I was gonna say Gaiden, the obvious choice, but... Um, I don't know, I feel like Resident Evil 4 Remake was really, really fun. Like, in a way that just hits different, you know what I mean? Though, I do have my gripes with that game. Like, the enemies can be bullshit sometimes with how tanky they are, but... Um, I think I'll go with that. What about you guys? What's your game of the year? Oh, we can just walk by that, okay. Ammo, okay. Wait, can we not? Oh, shit. Half-Life 2 story review. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you? I'm gonna die in five minutes. Oh, no. Change weapons. Oh, my God. I'm infected. It's all over. Whatever they did to this guy. Oh, that's the same description we saw. It's over, guys. I'm dead. Great pick. I'd go with Gaiden, because I don't play too many new games. Yeah, I'm the same as you, actually. Oh, no. Dude! That's a lot of enemies. Holy shit. I don't think I can do anything here. Gotta go away. Wait. Oh, these are do doors. Okay. I was like, wait. I tried to check them, but... It didn't do anything. Easily Resident Evil 4 Remake. My game of the year. Yeah, fair enough. Like, you know, RE4 Remake, even if they did, did it a bit different, with separate ways coming as DLC, it was very, very, very cheap. Like $10 for the content you get is insane. Considering something like the Kaito Files is $30. You know, I, I love RGG, but that's a scam. Well, okay, maybe not a scam. That's a bit too harsh, but you know, you know what I mean. Ever since Separate Ways dropped, I just can't stop thinking about the price. Ooh. Permanently increase the number of bullets. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Eve God. Half-Life 2 live story review when? In the next five years. So sometime. <sighs> but yeah, what was I saying? Um, right, uh, Resident Evil... F Wait. Oh, I could check that, actually. Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, Might have, like, you know, separate ways dropped a while later. But, um... They did it. They, they... I think they did it justice. Oh yeah, I heard about that, Goku. Fellas, if you want a free game, Half-Life 1 is free right now. Are you gonna stream Manhunt 2? I love the first one. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like YouTube is not gonna be kind with that one. An adjustable steam pressure relief valve. That's a big valve, goddamn. So, if you get infected and die, I wonder if you see this person as a zombie with another teammate. That's pretty interesting. Excess heat. Oh. Nice. 
2 feels like a gore game. Man, this one is really tough. Holy shit. Uh-oh. 2 feels like a gore game with stealth as an option. Yeah. Especially given who you play as. Let me play... Who's Eric? This guy, I think? Yeah, he can customize the gun, apparently. So let's try that. Oh, man. Who turned out the lights? Wait. They're actually off. <laughs> and where did everybody... Everyone... Uh, can't read. Where did everybody else go? Where's Ashley? Okay, let's see what he can do. Hey, that workbench is like the one back at HQ. I noticed it because I'm a workbenchy kind of guy. Okay, workbenchy guy. I'll use this pistol tuning kit to make our pistol more pistoly. Alright. Ooh. Nice. Locked and loaded. It's killing time. This guy's pretty cheerful. Oh, the shot? You keep the shotgun too? Wait, uh... Yeah, the game does seem difficult. I mean... It is. Uh... I feel like there's a lot to keep in mind. And it's, it's the kind of game where anything could kill you. Like, the whole fucking place is against you, not just the monsters. Um... And I think that is a... Really neat concept. Because, like... Well, you can basically shape the fate of everyone. Uh, depending on how good you play or how bad you play. What's the worst? This guy's jokes or the zombies? Hey, this guy is... This guy's cool, right chat? Eric is cool. Eric Downs, that's his name. Does anybody know anyone by the name of Downs? Hmm. Wait, where did I go? Man, this place is a maze. I know I say that a lot, but holy shit. Oh, I think this was it. If these are zombies, the only answer to one- The only answer to one law. Bullet law! Hell yeah, Eric! Tell him. <laughs> oh, it's the team member. Oh shit, what the fuck are you? Oh, it's the same creature. Oh, this is sad. My teammate. Okay, either he reloads really fast, or it's because of the upgrade. Ashley! No! Don't make me do this. I won't be able to live with myself. Oh, this is cool. Four hits. Ashley. I loved you. I know you wouldn't say it back, so I never said it. Ugh. Oh, I wish I had. You search the corpse. Man, this does feel sad. Even though, you know... In a way. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I think you know what I'm saying. Yeah, maid zombies. They're pretty vicious, too. What the hell? Zombie maids? The only thing getting cleaned up in this mansion is you! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Eric is savage. God damn. Yeah, you can see teammates die in all sorts of ways. It's uh, pretty cool. Now, I didn't play Max Payne 3, but I heard a lot of good things about it. Eric Downs. Oh, shit. <laughs> savage. Why'd you have to say that, Sunrise? Oh god, now I'm infected too. Man, this game is hard. <laughs> like, you're definitely dying a lot at first. 
Yo, human, how you doing? A box of shotgun shells. Of course, dude, take them. Oh shit! Man, these zombies are so... Extra. What time is it for you? It's... Uh, 20 minutes away from... 6pm. What time is it for you guys? Death any percent world record. Hmm. I feel like I might have missed something down here. Oh, I don't think. Did I go? Yeah, I think I did come here. No, we have a lot of US folks, I think. Put a one in the chat if you're from the States. Actually, wait. Yeah, I think I saw everything there is to see down here. So, I guess with the generator active... Um, no, actually, wait. you die where you start like does the next person start next to a zombie I don't think I came here before. Servant journal. Okay. Uh, an elevator shaft. Nothing happened, of course. That would be funny. Next one wakes up and gets insta killed. Maybe they just fucking die before they wake up. <laughs> the stun lock machine. Mm. Did I mention how much of a maze this place is? Oh, I did? Well, I'll say it again. This place is a goddamn maze. Ay, 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 ay. The next guy can't be. Yeah, what if he just sleeps through the whole day? This game shows you why you probably wouldn't survive a zombie apocalypse, yeah. Especially if you're in some kind of weird mansion, like this one. Oh yeah, I didn't come here. 
Wait, what the hell? Oh, I'm almost... I see. You are dead. We have two people left, I think. I'm gonna save the asshole for last. Javier Rodriguez. Yeah, Eric is down. Feels bad. Eric Downs has been downed. What became of the team? Without the captain, we have no orders. Buddy, just get the hell out of there. Um... I'm not sure if they have differences in speed. So wait, I can turn this on now, I think. What do you mean? Wait, I thought I turned the power on. What the hell? Bruh? How many steps do you need to take to turn on the power? God damn. <laughs> Knuckles guy, yeah, true. Wait. I want to equip the knife. I'm just not sure how to do that. Like, I'm pressing 1, 2, 3, and 4. It just doesn't do it. You know who else punches enemies? Travis. From Silent Hill Origins. The fact that he's the only pro tag that can just punch enemies is funny, and I like it. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't think I'm imagining things. He is slower than the previous guy. Yo, Tanny. Uh, the game's pretty cool. Pretty difficult, but I think... Uh... Wait, did I... Yeah, I did come here. It's like a roguelike survival horror game. Yeah, it's pretty fun, and I think it does have, like, replay value. Because... From what I understand, you could have an ending where one person dies, and it's a specific person. Or two people die, three people die, or no one dies. Yeah, Lego. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, in the case of this run, everybody dies. Wait, though. No. Uh. So, hold on. I thought I turned this on. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. Who turned you into one of these things? And it seems like everybody reacts as well to like their teammates in a different way. It's pretty cool. So wait, where did I take the other guy? Let's go meet him. I think it was somewhere around here. No. Not here actually. Um Wait. F 
Fear and hunger. Yeah, like, not... The zombies are not the only threat, basically. Sometimes there's a puzzle where the price of losing it is uh, death. And if you visit that place as another team member, you do see them in whatever nasty death they fell into, which is pretty cool. I think the guy came here, if I remember right. Or maybe not. No, oh, there he is. Damn it, kid. Looks like I gotta put you down. I'll get them for this. Wow. Downs. Damn it. God help us if you were foolish enough to voluntarily fight those things hand to hand. You search the corpse. I do like how you get their ammo. Um, there's no reason you shouldn't. A small chest that's locked. So you can't use the K coin on that. Uh, yes, we'll definitely get them for this. Hey, what are you trying to say? Just watch. We'll expose the whole company that did this with their stupid pharmaceuticals. Yeah, Tanny. Um, I guess we can go back to the lab now. See what happens from there. <laughs> hey, come on. Let me see some enthusiastic uh, positivity. Put a one in the chat if you think this guy's gonna make it out alive. And expose the evildoers. Come on, let me see those ones. Bets on there being a guy in sunglasses running around. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna end the playthrough after everybody survives. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I have to go a certain way. Um, oh, I think it was at the end, actually. <laughs> Let me see if, uh... Let me see what he says here. The team, how did so many of them end up here? Oh, that's a story for for you to know, Javier. You see... <laughs> they wanted this curious contraption called a shotgun. And um, things didn't go so well, let's say. Alright, we ended up here. Hmm. The lab should be... Oh, there we go, finally. Okay, um... You see? I'm not useless yet. Is he breaking the fourth wall? Of course, all that beautiful electricity goes straight into this... Ju what? What? Juget para... I don't know what that is.
Rodriguez, Javier. The new mission is ready. Are you ready? Oh, what's the new mission? What the? <laughs> is that supposed to be him typing? Like, what is this? Is he a robot? What's going on? Um, unfamiliarity with keyboard detected. Oh, is he a... Is it a boomer moment? I have speech input. The new mission is escape. No way. Wonderful. The stupid thing can hear me. And clearly it will keep talking no matter what I do. Sea garden. Axe garden requires key. Beware of master. Gardening. Fine. Whatever. If it gets me to the chopper, maybe I can get us out of here. Wow. This guy is full on boomer. They brought this here too. I wonder. Um... After 10 years of playing chess with the captain, I gave up. He yells at the pieces and then he yells at you. <laughs> what a guy. Mm. Let me save. I wonder how Ashley's little rat from headquarters ended up here. Henry, he's here too. Uh, so can we go up there now? Is that the ma That's not the master, is it? Stop! What the hell are you doing here? Whoa. Unless my eyesight is going, that looked like Monroe in some kind of costume. Damn. That sounds like a school uh, bell or whatever that you hear in some of the, like, Japanese RPG maker horror games. Those bells, they remind me of... No. No! A locked door, of course. Wait, let me peer through it. Can't see shit. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Hmm. I guess we're supposed to know the... Chess... Puzzle solution at this point? Hmm. Cool. Hmm. I played enough pool to know that this arrangement is no coincidence. Okay, we gotta kill the guy here. Where is he? 1836? Okay, this particular room looks like a room in, uh, uh, in the castle in Resident Evil 8, in Lady D's mansion. Hmm. I wonder if having different characters see the puzzles will help with the hints. Oh, yeah, true, true, yeah. Um, that, that is very possible. Hmm... I actually have no idea where to go. So we have a... a pool puzzle, apparently. Oh wait, maybe we can open that. Maybe that with the chest thing... Maybe... Oh shit. They have weapons now? God. 
Dude, just die. Thank you. Okay, let me use that. Servants, gardeners, maids, experiments like these always end up being done on people too poor and powerless to refuse. Backs. Mushrooms. It's a blue mushroom. You take it with you. The blue mushroom. My family used to cook with these when someone got sick. The lieutenant could use this to make some kind of poultice? Huh. Something catches your eye. Rosa! Rosa? What's in here? Nothing? I guess not. Hmm. Can you pause combat to run away? Actually, yeah, running away is always an option. I need to try that. Uh, you have to hold shift. To my family, cherish the blossom, child of mine, bumblebee and butterfly. As death endures, our hearts shall ache. Sacred river, endless lake. Facts. Uh oh. This painting is next to a painting of, of a skull, so uh, that might be foreboding. Or maybe not this time. So we have a gallery puzzle, like are you want as well? Maybe, Roxy. Whoever made these obviously did all the others in the mansion too. And I don't like any of them. This guy knows how it is. Depiction of death. Oh, is it gonna be the same thing? Wait, 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 wait. So, in Resident Evil... You basically go through the cycle of life. That's the order of the pictures. <laughs> yeah, man, let uh it's it's called uh, you will die here tonight. It's on Steam. Uh-oh. Intruders. A bumble. Oh, wait, it's related to the puzzle. Hold on. So, what about this one? Looks like a painting used to be. Wait, we found the painting before. I think it was it was like of a heart or something like that. Cherish the blossom. So we have to memorize the order of this. Cherish the blossom, child of mine, bumblebee and butterfly. Those being the mother and the daughter. Um as death endures... Right, yeah, so there's a heart. I got it. Wait, I got it. I gotta put this in the next monitor. There we go. Um, okay, so... Blossom. We need to look for a blossom. Any blossoms in chat? A river. Bumblebee, no? Oh, thank you, Roxy. Uh, Blossom, Blossom, Blossom. Oh, there we go, Blossom. Press that. Child of mine. An infant. Innocent. And then Bumblebee and Butterfly. I think that's the one here. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think the missing picture is the butterfly, probably. Uh, wait. What is this supposed to be? A lake. Oh, wait. Which one is the heart? I'm gonna take a risk. That's the butterfly, and then death. Death. Uh, hearts, river, and then the lake. 
Okay, the moment of truth very soon. And then I have to press the last one, probably. No, oh, I guess it's wrong. So it's the other way around, then. This is the one of the butterfly. And the smaller one is of the... No, heart. Okay, so... Again. Blossom. Child of mine. Bumblebee... And then the butterfly, assuming this is the one, it has to be. And then death, hearts, and then uh, the river, and then the lake. All right, this should be it. Wait, what? Am I missing something? Wait. <laughs> Is this a trap? Uh-oh. Can I put it back? I don't think I can. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, to this game. You are dead. <laughs> the game trolls you. Watch your step, old man. Okay. Now we have this guy. Mike Kelly. <sighs> okay. Yeah, the thing is, I did do the puzzle, and I did both possible outcomes. Maybe there is something that I missed. Hmm. Did the team disappear? I wonder what happens if all like all the team members die. Maybe we actually do get one ending. Um, oh, this guy is fast. Look at him. Unlike the old guy, which makes sense. I do like that they all play different, actually. Maybe... Yeah, that is possible, Viteri. Oh, look at Streamlabs blinking. What are you blinking at, huh? Okay, um, I guess we gotta go do that again. So is this guy just gonna see a like a splat of blood on that uh, painting or something? Man, look at him go, he's quick. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, the smaller one... If they want to put every shitty piece of art they have in storage rooms, they're gonna need more storage rooms. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is the heart painting. So so then, wait, we did it right. Maybe I did miss something? So it's Plink all the rage nowadays, no floppa? Well, you see. Why not both? Man, look at him, holy. I know I keep saying it, but he's quick. Buddy? Oh, well, th there goes Mike. <laughs> All right, best ending incoming. That's another general page. It's okay, guys. Oh, wait, the K coin gives off an unnatural aura. Alice, we'll find the cure in like 
a couple of minutes. And then Mike can escape. Happy ending, right? And then he's gonna call for help. And help everyone else. Heavy fog is pierced by a driving rain. The shape of a helicopter can be seen in, in the back garden. Oh, to be in that helicopter right now. Yeah, the game was not lying when they called it, or when they said, You will die here tonight. What the hell is that? Hey, asshole. Keep it down. You don't sing very well. Oh, see? I don't know where that music is coming from, but it sucks. Yeah, you tell him, Mike. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that another puzzle? An angelic statue. The face is missing. A key is clasped between its hands. Uh... Yeah, this character is an asshole. <laughs> Even at the beginning when you talk to him. What flavor of gamer subs do you like? Oh, thank you for asking, actually. So I tried the gamer subs tea. Um, I think it was, what was the flavor? Yerba? Yerba mate, Yerba mate. And to be honest with you guys, it kind of tastes like, um... It's like green tea mixed with lemon. Um, and it doesn't stand out too much, but you know, it's green tea with lemon. Like, it's okay. Um, I tried one bag only. And, like, you know... Let, let, let me put it this way. If you want to get something nice for yourself, gamer tea, something new, and then you also want to support me, you, like, you might want to check that out. But other than that, you know, I didn't think it was special. But that's one flavor. There's like three other flavors that I didn't try. Uh, they sent me only one. Yeah, for tea enjoyers. Now, getting back to the question. They also sent me three other flavors for the normal energy drink. Oh, shit. I tried one called Brand Risk. They sent that to me. It was okay. It felt very, like, milky. Um, and there's a couple others that I didn't try. I think there's peach tea and... I think mango or something. I didn't try those yet. I think the mango one was included in a sample. I'm not sure. Peach tea sounds like it might be nice. What about anime girl tea? <laughs> they didn't send that to me, so I have no idea. But the guy that I talk to, or, you know, um, communicate with, with game, uh, gamer subs, he tells me that's one of his favorite flavors, so... Maybe it's pretty good. Butterfly, bumblebee, indentations look like slots. Most people don't even use software valuable enough to know what those are. Wow, this guy's full of himself, isn't he? Personally, I'm not a food guy. Oh, hell yeah, same. I just look at pictures and I sate my hunger that way. Oh, another note. Can they stop with the singing? It's gonna make my death horrible. Oh. I feel like a sick drum and bass drop isn't the next thing that happens. Um, what did they mean by that? The sussier the name, the better the flavor. Honestly, that does seem to be the case at the moment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Blackout! Something must have blown a fuse. It isn't like these zombies are smart enough to turn the lights out intentionally, right? Uh-oh. Mike? It was not nice knowing you. Oh, shit. That is pretty spooky, actually. Masked maid. Wow. We actually survived. 
So we can go back to that statue now. Um, if I can find my way back. Um, we have one minute. I don't know if we can make it back. Okay, time to speed run this shit. Mike is quick. He can make it. Um... Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, it's setting in, fellas. It's setting in. I don't feel so good. Oh, 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 shit. Nice. Okay, that's a victory. Oh, that's kind of a victory. We still have to do the puzzle. So, what's the poem? Three crowns of fire where the sun shall surely rise. A bird of night against it, murder in the eyes. Angels stand with demons as the world turns to dust, while all the while the devil plays the witness that he must. Um, what happens if everyone dies? Yeah, you probably have to do it again. Maybe we get a bad ending. Um, three crowns of fire. Wait. Oh, it's this kind of puzzle. So, wait. It has to be that way, right? Yeah, where the sun shall rise, so to the east. A bird of night against it. Murder in its eyes. So, we turn this little fella over there. And then... Angels stand with demons. So, wait. So... Lucifer. Is that not it? Stands. Wait. Poggers! We get the key, and now we die. Servant key. A skeleton key like this. Oh, wow. Okay. So that just opens, like, all the doors now. There's so many locked doors in this game, it's insane. Yeah, this is one of them. This little animation is cool. Alright. Fuck you, vase. Oh, shit. Oh, oh look at the time! Ho, ho, ho. What is it with you people on all this cosplay? You know what a cosplay is? What if he just went outside? Oh, shit. Yeah, what if? Right where it started. You are dead. So what happens now? There's a loop? Wait, and- oh, the coins are- Do you just restart all of it with a- Huh. Okay, what if we choose, for example, her now? Okay, that's an interesting way to handle this game. I've been somewhere like this before. Many times. Too many times. Okay, so you, so you do get to keep your progress. That's pretty cool. Because, you know, initially I was thinking, okay, if you get so much done in this game, and then, like, you basically lose everything that you did, and you have to do all of it all over again, that might be a little tedious for a lot of people. But having this coin that basically resets, like, all the characters with your progress intact, I think is a pretty... It's, it's a good way to handle things. Uh, you have a chance to try things out again. And, you know, you don't lose everything just yet. Um, pretty interesting game, honestly. Like, you know, even though it's uh, it takes after Resident Evil 1... Kraken coin, maybe, yeah. Even though it takes after Resident Evil 1, I do think it's unique enough to be its own thing. Um, like, you know, the, the basics are there. Mansion, elite, like, squad, and puzzles, zombies. But everything else is just really different, I think. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start... Uh, stop. <laughs> Not start. Stop streaming here. Uh, this game is pretty cool. 
highly recommend, uh, especially if you love survival horror games, like Resident Evil-like games, but like you want a, like a twist on it that you wouldn't usually expect. Um, if you like roguelike games, or just puzzle games, survival horror, then I think you're gonna enjoy this game. It does seem like it might have some trial and error, but it doesn't punish you too hard for that, now that we discovered how the coins work. Um, and there's different characters, and they all play a little different. Like, you know, one of them is better with customizing guns. Some of them are slower than the others, but maybe they can make up for it with something else. I'm not sure. Um, will he continue? No, I don't think I'm going to continue this game. This is just a sponsored stream for me to, like, you know, put it out there. Let people know about it. And hopefully get someone to play it. Okay, um, I don't know when, when is the next stream going to be, but if there is going to be one, I'll try to notify you guys in advance, uh, so you guys are kept informed. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, this has been a wonderful little stream of just, you know, trying something that is not Yakuza. And, uh, you guys take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll be seeing you next time, whenever that is. Take care now, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, you beautiful, beautiful people.